this. Well, I guess. <coughs> Good morning, everybody. It is May, is it 13th? I think it's 13th, May 14th, May 14th, what is that? Uh, it's May 14th, 2021. It's just a little bit past 8.30. It's 8.48 a.m. here in beautiful South San Francisco. My name is Justin Bowman, and uh, this is Morning Prayer, part of the Addiction Ministry at the St. Peter's School. Addiction Ministry is what I do, and today is the Feast of St. Matthias the Apostle. So uh, we had Ascension Day yesterday. We had two holy days in a row. That's great. That means a, a bit more of an opportunity to eat ice cream here. So, well, you know, I eat ice cream anyway, but it is good on feast days to, to, to do something special. You know what I mean? Whether it be ice cream or responsibly enjoy some, well, I'm not going to say that because this is addiction ministry, but we do relapse as addicts sometimes. So, I mean, to enjoy some beer or something like that, or to you know make some special food or, or whatever. Um, so I'm very grateful to be here right now because I've had several weeks of dealing with COVID-19 long hauler symptoms, which I'm still kind of dealing with, but they're getting better. I mentioned that yesterday. Um, and I could not pray the office and uh, ooh, I, I just miss it. I just miss being able to um, I just missed the office. I, 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 I was about to say, uh, miss uh, practicing living out my faith, but I do that every day. You know, it, it just it just kind of sometimes just takes different form. Um, so there it is. All right. I hope everybody's doing all right today. Having a good day. Um, I didn't check the weather outside right now. We have it's, uh, there's a low layer of fog that I can still see the South San Francisco Industrial City sign, but it's uh, there's a lot of fog above it. Some mornings the fog hits so hard you can't see even the even the mountain. Um, and I don't know if it'll burn off. Yesterday it burned off a little bit, and then it got foggy later in the day. Let's check out the readings and the psalm that we have for today. Let's take a few moments, quiet ourselves, get ourselves into a prayerful place, clear your mind, or let whatever come into your mind that does, and be conscious about knowing that on this feast day of St. Matthias the Apostle, while, while we take a few moments, just be aware of what comes into your head, see what happens. God does amazing things, and so let's see what he brings to your mind today as we prepare to celebrate the office. I was going to say the sacred mysteries, but that's for Mass, so.
no longer strangers and sojourners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ the Lord has ascended into heaven. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Oh, I, f I forgot. I forgot my salt there. I'll be right back. How many are my foes, O Lord? How many are rising up against me? How many are saying about me, no help will come from God? But you, Lord, are a shield about me, my glory who lift up my head. I cry aloud to you, Lord. You answer from your holy mountain. I lie down to rest and I sleep. I wake for you uphold me. I will not fear even thousands of people who are ranged on every side against me. Arise, Lord, save me, my God, you who strike all my foes on the mouth, you who break the teeth of the wicked, O Lord of salvation, bless your people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord, hail the rock who saves us. Let us come before God, giving thanks with songs, let us hail the Lord. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods, in whose hands are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains as well. The sea belongs to God who made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For this is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to God's voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your ancestors put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray, these people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, Never shall they enter my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 80 is the psalm for this morning. O shepherd of Israel, hear us. You who lead Joseph's flock, shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine in us, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread, and an abundance of tears for their drink, you have made us the taunt of our neighbors, our enemies laugh us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back, let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt to plant it, you drove out the nations, before it you cleared the ground, it took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow, the cedars of God with its bows. You stretched out its branches to the sea, to the great river it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it. The vine your right hand has planted. They have burnt it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the one you have chosen, the one you have given your strength and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine in us, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ the Lord has ascended into heaven. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Looks like we're going to stop for the Angelus. Alexa, cancel.
The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son is made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I kind of, you know, as I, as I was preparing, I... I even just now, I made mean, note of the time, but I didn't click that we're going to be doing the Angelus. <laughs> you know, life is like that sometimes. All right. Our first reading for this morning is from um, 1 Samuel, chapter 16, 1 through 13. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you grieve over Saul? I have rejected him from being king over Israel. Fill your horn with oil and set out. I will send you to Jesse, the Bethlehemite. For I have provided for myself a king among his sons. Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears of it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show you what you shall do. And you shall anoint for me the one whom I name to you. Samuel did what the Lord commanded, and came to Bethlehem. The elders of the city came to meet him trembling, and said, Do you come peaceably? He said, Peaceably, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Sanctify yourselves, and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. When they came, he looked on Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed is now before the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord does not see as mortals see. This is true. They look on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. That's beautiful. Then Jesse called Abimenab and made him pass before Samuel. He said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Then Jesse made Shema pass by, and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel, and Samuel said to Jesse, 
The Lord has not chosen any of these. Samuel said to Jesse, Are all your sons here? And he said, There remains yet the youngest, but he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and bring him, for we will not sit down until he comes here. He sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and had beautiful eyes and was handsome. The Lord said, Rise and anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David. From that day forward, Samuel set out and went to Ramah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. First Samuel is one of my favorite books. It's pretty cool. I like David a lot. David, you know, you can identify, all of us can identify with David. Although, not that we were anointed to be a king or something, you know, but, um, but in that he's very human, you know. Uh, he's a great example for living out the Christian faith. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my Savior. This is my God, and I will praise him, the God of my people, and I will exalt him. <clears throat> the Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretch forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading this morning is from the first letter of John, chapter 2, 18 to 25. Children, it is, the, it is the last hour. As you have heard that Antichrist is coming, so now many Antichrists have come. From this we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But by going out, they made it plain that none of them belongs to us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One, and all of you have knowledge. I write to you not because you do not know the truth, but because you know it. And you know that no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar but the one who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist, the one who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Everyone who confesses the Son has the Father also. Let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, 
then you will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he has promised us, eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You read these recently, 1 John and also uh, Psalm 80. Just, yeah, just honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember what day, but I know that it was like within the last week. So... <laughs> So it's good to, honestly, I'm glad to read these again. And that puts that, you know, putting, when something's put, when God puts something in front of your eyes, a couple of, you know what I mean? And he'll let you know, like, should I think about this? You know? And even let you know, even, he'll even put that in your mind and then be like, when you go like, no, I, that's not something I needed. That's also the Lord doing that. And you kind of wonder like, what, why would you, why would you do that? <laughs> to me, like, God and I had these conversations all day. It's, amazing. it's something else. But I'm ecstatic and I am blessed to be in the Holy Spirit. And you are too. Pretty soon, actually, I should make a point that we should read from the Jerusalem Bible and the New American Bible, which I have behind there. I'd like to switch it up, but I've gotten in the habit of describing my NRSV in, in this, that, you know. Uh, is that called a bookcase? Book cover? Yeah, book cover. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the people. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the Great One in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will, will be forever. Amen. Sometimes, this is going to sound weird, but the Lord wants me to share this right now, and I'm going to share it with you. Uh, sometimes he'll do stuff like this to me, like after I do a reading, like I just did now, and he'll be like, "Okay, go to you know, go to go to." He'll, he usually won't give me like say the the title of the canticle. He'll usually give me the first line, and I'm gonna remember. And I'm like, oh, "Okay, all right, O ruler of the universe, Lord God." So I'll turn until I find the page, and then he'll be like, "See that? Yeah, not that one." And then make me not say anything, but make me turn like another page. I mean, in the case where there was another page, and then have me start, bring my eyes to a specific one and have me start reading that. Now, that, I mean, why he does that, I don't know. I have no idea. But it is, it is, because the Lord works in mysterious ways, that's why. But, like, wow. Anyway, so today, no Latin. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. <clears throat> I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
Almighty God, who in the place of Judas chose your faithful servant Matthias to be numbered among the twelve, grant that your church, being delivered from false apostles, may always be guided and governed by faithful and true pastors. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God, give us strength to live another day. Let us not turn coward before its difficulties or prove recreant to its duties. Let us not lose faith in other people. Keep us sweet and sound of heart in spite of ingratitude, treachery, or meanness. Preserve us from minding little stings or giving them. Help us to keep our hearts clean and to live so honestly and fearlessly that no outward failure can dishearten us or take away the joy of conscious integrity. Open wide the eyes of our souls that we may see the good in all things. Grant us this day some new vision of your truth. Inspire us with the spirit of joy and gladness. And make us the cup of strength to suffering souls in the name of the strong deliverer, our only Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I will, we will try this day to live a simple, sincere, and serene life repelling promptly every thought of discontent, anxiety, discouragement, impurity, and self-seeking. Cultivating cheerfulness, magnanimity, charity, and the habit of holy silence, exercising economy and expenditure, generosity and giving, carefulness and conversation, diligence and appointed service, fidelity to every trust, and childlike faith in God. In particular, we will try to be faithful in those habits of prayer, work, study, physical exercise, eating, and sleep, which we believe the Holy Spirit has shown us to be right. And as we cannot of our own strength do this, nor even with the hope of success attempt it, we look to thee, O Lord God, our Father, and Jesus, our Savior, and ask for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, increase our faith. Amen. I, you know, just, I don't know why I'm going to show you this right now, but <clears throat> I created a little pocket here in my binder. I took an envelope from a thank you card, some thank you cards I have, and just taped it here, you know, folded it so it would fit, and that way I can save, you know, the little things I need during this, the office I keep right in there. It's Friday, and so we're going to say colic for Friday. Almighty God, most dear, whose most dear son went up not to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world. For the peace from above, for the loving kindness of God, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the world, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, and for the unity of all peoples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all clergy and all religious, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We remember today especially the ministries inside and outside of the church we pray for. I, I usually say that right there. Um, and we remember especially our Holy Father, Pope Francis and Pope Benedict, Bishop Mark Hanley Andrus, Archbishop Salvatore Cordelione, 
St. Gregory's Abbey, Three Rivers, Michigan, Hospitality House in San Bruno, Sea Episcopal Church in South San Francisco in San Bruno, the Diocese of California, the Archdiocese of San Francisco, Reverend Patrick Driscoll, Reverend Shariah Padota, St. Veronica's Catholic Church, South San Francisco, De the Reverend Deborah Hawkins, Father Lisa, Bishop Louis Jeleno, St. Bruno's Catholic Church in San Bruno. And the organizations, uh, they're not, they're secular organizations, but they do ministry, um, in my opinion, and that, because they help homeless people get housing. And, and I was homeless for almost four years, and I'm now here, and this is because of, of well, it's because of many people. I, I see my video yesterday, I kind of went on an extended thank you uh, in recognizing all the people that have helped me get where I am today, especially you know, especially in terms of housing, because there are it's many people. Um, but two of those organizations that played a huge part in that, you know, in addition to my landlord, um, are Life Moves and Abode Services, and of course the San Mateo County Department of Housing, which we're going to pray for in a moment. Um, So yes, so bless all of those people and their ministries. They are incredible. They are really the face of Christ in the world. We all are, you know what I mean? Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Even that, that dirt bag, you know what I mean? That guy that, that when you think dirt bag, whatever come, whoever comes into your head, that's the face of Christ in the world too. And it's very hard to remember that. That, you know what I mean? That is, I think, something that as content as you know, I imagine, because I know as a contemplative, like, part of my life's work is to try to reconcile, you know what I mean? To, 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 uh, to make that person, for me to feel as, when I think, think of the most holy person you can think of right now. Whoever comes into your mind, who is the most, like, you just have nothing but, like, wow, this person is beautiful, they're wonderful. I often think of the Pope, whose picture I have over here, as some, you know what I mean? And especially when you, when you don't know people personally, it's even easier to do that honestly to think well you know they're just fantastic and they're not known to you personally um there are people that have complaints about the pope you generally when he was younger you know what I mean? because he was kind of a, like a lot of people he was a, you know he's a little bit of an authoritarian kind of a guy <laughs> which you can believe because he's the pope right but um but you know people say you know he was a, kind of a hard guy and he admits it himself you know what i mean that he was so you know but when you don't know that right you, have, you don't have experience with the Pope, and you see him now, and he's a, he is grown and changed. You know what I mean? He's grown in holiness because when you pray and you live a religious life, that tends to happen. And that you know what I mean. And it's not just reserved for the Pope or guys that are clergy. It's reserved, it's for all of us. But my point being that um, you know when you don't know him, it's even easier. Someone that knew him 40 years ago that had maybe had some bad experiences, those things may come to mind and tarnish the image of our Holy Father. You know what I mean? Um, so think of that person, and then think of the dirt bag guy, right? Or girl, and bridge that. Try to bridge that gap. That's a life's work. That's what contemplatives do. That's what that is our that is our task as contemplatives. Probably probably the chief task, honestly. Probably the chief task that, that Christ calls us to do. And it's tough. And it's, you know. And I think that the Lord, honestly, I think that the Lord wants us never, never really to fully perfect it, because it's kind of, you know what I mean? It's somewhat an impossible task. But I think it's the getting there, it's the working toward that that is what we're supposed to do, and that, that's worth something. You do get something out of it, believe you me, and it's challenging. Sometimes it's one step forward, two steps back, and it's, it's here, and it's there, and it's not a linear path, and it, it's something else. It's really, it's something else. But it's the beauty of Christ. That's the, that's the beauty of Christ. Sounds like John Goodman in, uh, that, uh, what was that movie? Big Lebowski, when he's, you know, there's this part where um, 
John Goodman. Here comes up with this really dumb, you know, thing, and he's like, "That's the beauty of whatever." And then, uh, what's his name? The guy, the the main character in The Big Lebowski. I can't remember his name right now. Wow, it just popped out of my head. But he, like, a couple of times in the movie later, he's like, oh, "Isn't that the beauty of it?" You know, because the plan messes up. He's like, "Isn't that the beauty of it?" So, but. And that is Christ right there, too. Because, you know what I mean? There's the beauty of Christ, the perfection, and then there's the, the foobarness of, of Christ. And it's, that's the beauty of Christ. I said the other day, the Reverend Robert De Niro, I mean, he, De Niro's got, you know, he's got these gangster sunglasses on with a cigarette. And I, I made the quote, cause it's, it's a slight, it's a um, corruption of the, of the quote in the movie. He says, there's three th ways to do things around here. The right way, the wrong way, and the way I do it. But I changed the quote to, there's three ways to do things around here. The right way, the wrong way, and the way God does it. And, and that is true. That is absolutely true. So, anyway, continuing on with our prayers. We pray for our president and the vice president and all the leaders of the nations and of the state. And, and uh, most especially, we remember today... Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, our governor, Gavin Newsom, London Breed, the mayor of San Francisco, Rich Garbarino, the mayor of South San Francisco, Carlos Bolanos, our San Mateo County Sheriff, the San Mateo County Sheriff's Department. We also pray for all law enforcement agencies in the county and beyond, so, and especially the South San Francisco Police Department and the San Bruno Police Department, which are the two communities in which I, I live and move and have my being, and so I, I remember them this morning. Um, also pray for the fire departments in those communities and the emergency personnel in the county in these communities as well, as well as everywhere. Pray for the South San Francisco City Council and our district attorney, Stephen Wagstaff, our senators, Alex Padilla and Diane Feinstein in the state of California. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this county, San Mateo County, and the city of South San Francisco and San Bruno and San Francisco, and for all who live in them, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For the good earth which God has given us, and for the wisdom and will to conserve it, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For those who travel on land, on water, or in the air, or through outer space, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the aged and infirm, for the widowed and orphans, for the sick and the suffering, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are alone and have no one to care for them, for the lonely, for those who will die alone today. For the aged that are in nursing homes with, with no one to visit them. Or the forgotten that are in prison. For drug addicts out there that are using and they don't have any family. Or if they do have family, their families have given up on them. Because of, of, the, because of how addiction goes. It's tough on everyone. For those addicts out there who have no family. For those addicts who think that they're not worth anything or don't care to even think whether or not they're worth anything or not. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For addicts, those of us still suffering for, that suffer from addictions in body, mind, and spirit, that the Lord continue to uphold us in the walk of our recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed and the destitute, for prisoners and captives, and for all who remember and care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, and for all the departed, let us pray to the Lord. Remember, especially today, the holy souls in purgatory and the church triumphant. We also pray for the repose of the soul of Howard Connolly. Christine Baker, 
the Reverend and Mrs. Fred and Cheryl Merrick, for Nick Lee, for Mickey McGee, for Keith Lloyd, for James, for Dustin Rasmussen, for John Judicki, for Brian Sicknick, for Anita Rossmeyer, for Phil DiMartino, for Father Benedict Reed, for Winfred and Mary Ann Johnson, and my grandparents on both sides, for Demetrius Fleming Davis. We pray for deliverance from all danger, violence, and oppression, and degradation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the names, for those, uh, for my brothers and sisters whose names and intentions I now bring before you in prayer, dear Lord, that you continue to pour out your grace upon them by your Holy Spirit, our comforter, advocate, and guide. And I remember today, especially my family, my mother and father, Alex and Cheryl, Kara Masick, Erwin Rossmeyer, my brothers Joshua, Jesse, Ben, and Max, Mark, Jay, Jesse, and Diane Darling, and Bob Ottaviano. And members of my extended family. Junior Irwin, Bernadette Stephen, Brian and Carrie Connolly, Stuart Packman, Eric Mosness, Keegan Forbes, Michael Nold, Coulter Myers, and his girlfriend. Richard Simmons, Jim White, Andrew Marmelstein, Dave Maloney, Keith Watley, Jimmy Harder, Michael Zorns, Tony Vucetic, Aaron Rogers, Ruben Padilla, Travis Carpenter, Kurt Berry, Larry Burdett, Janine and Mike Jones, TJ Hostomsky, Drunk Phil, June, Ann and Sam, Lou and Gina Leach, Peter Steeler, Daniel Hudson, Clifton Barrett, Roland Barber Laborde, Mike Smith, Margie Burke and her family, Kyle Andrew Schofield, Laura and Lydia, Jason Hayes, Jack and Ramit and their family, Gino, Charles Ratcliffe, Chris Reinhardt, Dustin Keast, Norma Leakey, Charlie and Katie, Matthew Russian, Tyler Davis, Daniel Fonseca, Michael and Corey, Ryan, Dean Varchetto, Pat Ford, Tina, Keith, Alexander, Matthew Mustashkin, Kevin Johansson, the Republicano family, Tyler Jordan Lowe, Tyler Smith, <coughs> Charles and Kim Plyler and their family, Anita, David, Michael and, and his mother, and Ron Popeil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. I, for some strange reason, I'm blanking out yesterday that uh, I feel like I, I, because I, I have the, you know, my family's in one section, the ministries are in another, and extended family, and other, you know, others that I'm not related to that we pray for are in another section. I feel like I may have missed my family, praying for my family yesterday. So, uh, God, and I feel that bad because that's the one I, I said, Dad, specifically watch this one. <laughs> even though I mentioned, you know, even though I did, I, you know, I'm not sure. Anyway, Dad, gosh, I, I feel bad if that happened. Don't think that I'm not praying for my family. My Lord. O Lord, our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people and the multitude of your mercies. Look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Whenever I pray these concluding collects, especially like this one, I always, I, I image of Deb, Debbie Hawkins, my, my old pastor, comes into my head and I hear her voice doing it because I've, I've heard her do it so many times but you know and, and a lot of this but always on the concluding collects which is really fascinating Coll did I say collects? I meant collects concluding collects
So if you didn't know, and you probably caught during the collect, that um, Matthias replaced Judas. So he you know, drew straws and replaced Judas. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless you and protect you. Amen. May the Lord show you kindness and be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord bestow favor upon you and grant you peace. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The clement, the loving, the sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we only pray. Do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell. Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. St. Matthias and St. Paul, St. Benedict and St. Scholastica. St. Athanasius, St. You, pray for us. Thank you for joining me this morning for morning prayer on this feast of St. Matthias the Apostle. Um, I'm going to wish you a blessed rest of your day. Do something special to celebrate this day. Have some ice cream like I'm going to do. And um, if you like this video, click like, subscribe to my channel. Um, remember that most of my ministry really is on Facebook. So follow me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash JTCSF. Um, also, I would love to, you know, prayer requests. I'd love to get some. I'd love, I'd love to pray for you. I, I haven't, all these months, some, not going on quite a year, but it's over, over six months, definitely, that I've been doing this, um, these, these, the office here. Yeah, well over that. And, um, I would like to get prayer requests. I haven't got one yet, even though I exhort people to send them to me. So email me at jtc at acernet, A-C-E-R-A-C-E-R-N-E-T dot org. Um, you can email me about anything else, too. I don't really care. You know what I mean? <laughs> so with that, I'm going to wish you a blessed rest of your day, and Godspeed until the next time you come back and see us.